Hello and welcome. Let's talk about Coolidge fracture. So, what does it mean by Coolidge fracture? The fracture of the lower end of the radius one inch above the lower articular surface of the radius is called Coolidge fracture. This is a picture showing the fracture of the lower end of the radius, which is known as Coolidge fracture. Now, this is a picture showing Coolidge fracture here. Now, clinical features: the patient profile includes commonly in elderly especially postmenopausal women the history includes history of fall in a outstretched hand symptoms include pain and swelling around the wrist and dorsum of the hand patient unable to catch anything and there is painful and restricted movement of the wrist and fingers now signs signs include commonly there is a dinner fork deformity due to backward and lateral displacement of the distal fragment there is dorsal shift angulation radial deviation and supination Head is radially deviated. Tenderness over the fracture site. Movements of the wrist and the fingers are painful and restricted. Displacement may be palpable. Now, what are the displacements seen in Coolidge fracture? Dorsal displacement, dorsal angulation, proximally drawn, lateral displacement, lateral angulation, and supination. Investigation. It is confirmed by X-ray wrist both views, including distal part of the radius and ulna. On anterior posterior view, there is lateral or medial displacement. On lateral view, there is anterior posterior displacement. Now, this is Coolidge fracture, and this is a radiographic image of Coolidge fracture. Treatment for undisplaced fracture: immobilization by short arm black slab extending from below elbow to distal metacarpal head, which is replaced by Coolidge plaster after 24 hours for 46 weeks. Displaced fracture includes close reduction under general anesthesia by traction and counter traction followed by Coolidge fracture for 6 weeks. Now differential diagnosis of Coolidge fracture, smooth fracture, wrist dislocation and scaffold fracture. Complications of Coolidge fracture, only includes injury to the radial artery, acute carpal tunnel syndrome, late includes stiffness of the wrist and fingers, malunion and nonunion, pseudex atrophy, instability of the inferior radio ulnar joint, osteoarthritis of the wrist joint and hand shoulder syndrome. Advice after removal of the plaster. No massage. If the patient complains of the pain and swelling of the wrist and hand, then analgesic should be given. Contrast bath, active exercise of the fingers, physiotherapy and crib bandage can be given. Coolidge fracture occurs due to the fall on outstretched hand. So, what are the other possible injuries that can occur with fall on outstretched hand? This includes fracture scaphoid, supracondylar fracture, fracture nick of the femur and fracture clavicle. Coolidge versus smooth fracture. In Coolidge fracture, there is dorsal displacement, dorsal angulation, lateral angulation, and supination. But in smooth fracture, there is ventral displacement, ventral angulation, medial angulation, and pronation. End of the topic.